In today's Entertainment City, Tom Cruise rewraps the mummy with an action and, of course, stunt packed reboot of the classic, classic monster film. And all of these monsters, we're going we're gonna to pay our respects to, to the original monster films. The mummy franchise is almost as old as a mummy itself. Okay, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but movies have been around since 1932. Eight sequels and one spin-off franchise later, it's time for the next reboot. And this time, it's a Tom Cruise movie. In this iteration, we get the tale of a 2,000-year-old princess who is awakened from her mummy state to find herself in modern day. And let's just say, she's not really a morning person. Please meet Princess Aminette. The movie features a classic cruise trait, massive stunts, many performed by the actor himself. I love to entertain an audience, and I give it everything that I possibly can, and I never take anything for granted. Uh, and. You know, some people say, don't you want a vacation? It's like, for me, uh, making films, that is a vacation because I, I love doing it. For the record, Cruz's version of The Mummy is not a reboot of the story you probably are most familiar with, Brendan Fraser's Mummy. And then there was light. Oh, boy. This new version is meant to be a reboot of the OG Mummy, the one that came out in 1932. It also marks the birth of Universal Studios' Dark Universe franchise, which will be made up of remakes of other classic movies. Russell Crowe will be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He debuts as the character in The Mummy. Javier Bardem is signed on to play Frankenstein's monster, and Johnny Depp will be the Invisible Man. Each will have his own movie, but will also share stories. Basically, in the Dark Universe, Universal Studios is pretending all of the various reboots of these classics made since the 50s don't exist, including Frasier's Mummy franchise. Oh, no, not these guys again. But don't worry about Frasier, despite the fact that the actor who enjoyed a bona fide movie star status in the late 90s and early 2000s has largely disappeared from Hollywood following a string of on-screen bombs, he's landed a role on the new FX series called Trust and is juggling a bunch of small screen projects. So we're willing to bet he's not all that bitter about Cruz taking over a franchise he once led. Either way, Cruz and The Mummy are facing a tough battle at the box office this weekend. They're up against Wonder Woman. And coming up tomorrow in Entertainment City, we're going to have the highlights from Canada's Walk of Fame unveiling with Jason Priestley, Corey Hart, and more.